right, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot the rest. Welcome to another episode. Oh, I think we should take something for it. Of um, Drag Dogma 2. This game is very me, yeah. you know, but that is what it is. Somebody had the milf. Um, and she mentioned something about milf that Brian got. Where the ice car there? I must earn it. Ooh, this ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Ah, wrong one. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. I wouldn't mind a chance to doze off as the hills roll by. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I fear I'm not useful to share. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. Some battles simply can't be won. What the heck?
Uau, não! Uau, não! In a way. Show yourself. Twas a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. I'll pick that up. What? We might have need of it. Yes, I wanted it! Okay. To have returned by now. Mayhap tis time. I went looking for him. But that place puts my ears on end. Yep, I'm a tad busy at the moment. Girl. We're saved. I haven't the words to thank you. I doubt we would have pulled through if not for you. I'm not sure I can handle this. My only object is to live to a ripe old age. All you need of me? Interest you in my humble wares? Much obliged, sir. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Housing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Prod me if you must, Master, but I've nothing more to say.
Whatever it is, I'll have to hear it another time. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. What a view. <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. I suppose it is so. I did you want something? Life is for the living, friend. Best to enjoy it. Pray do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. Is that you, Norbert? Ah, oh, fie. I've got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? A brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen no sign of him since. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Understand? I, I, I'm not afraid of monsters. But it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? So I thought, mayhap, you go in my place. You look like you could manage those woods better than I. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone, go into the forest and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye. But my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map. And it's hard to describe. But my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. You will, won't you? Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. We must fly to the aid of those in need. We're not allowed to talk during missions, sir. Okay, I guess I'll just set this thing as a priority. survive that but here we are my thanks for your efforts Where are you going? come to think of it is your pack not overburdensome you carry so much I worry for your poor spine 
Oi. I don't like this place at all. This is a good spot. Let's stop here a moment. I've camped here with my brother many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on, same as us. Oh, I should tell you, there's a forgotten rift stone nearby. I found it beyond the rift. Shall we go there now? Okay. for swapping stories but perhaps another night I can scarce keep my eyes open A foe in sight. A brief respite is not to decry. I wouldn't prefer to have a place to sleep, but at least I know I'm up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom goes to waste. Can anyone hear me? Please! I need help! No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets stuck! I thought I was done for. Ah, oh, it was a near thing. How are you feeling? I think I'll be all right. But if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother. And I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. 
Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Let's be off then. Let us take every precaution that we might see our charge delivered safely. Back at last. That was an ordeal. I, I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. Good on you. Just take care, all right? You wonder why I don't follow him? So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late. And I was right. I mayhap none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. While I stand around with my hands in my pockets. But today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads. We managed to save Norbert. And perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I'd only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. There again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. With Sir Norbert safely returned, Melv shan't lack for medicinal herbs. Two good deeds in one, you might say. since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties before being allowed to flee. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? With Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village entire will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that if not else. Now, it is time we slept. 
There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. I guess we already slept. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, oh, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village, aye? Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge, protecting Vermont against the dragon. As for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. Hmm. Find Rita. Where am I supposed to find this figure at? I don't know where I'm supposed to find Eureka at. Yours to waste. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where to find this chick at. I'm just going to quit this episode. See you next one.